folks. Welcome to the ABC Journeyman. I'm the Custom Prophet. We're back here, club number five in our final season, our fourth season with Brackley Town. And the season has started quite exceptionally well. We're 16 games in, we've got 41 points and we're top of the league by four points. But we are playing second place, Bury Town, and we're away from home. It's the hardest possible game we could come back for and you're going to see it. Yes, folks, it's going to be a challenge. It was always going to be a challenge, this. Berry Town have just started to put a little bit of a, a few poor results together um, in the last couple of games, including a loss away at home against Stevenage, who are trying to catch them back up. Uh, and they've just drawn as well. I think it was against AFC Telford um, uh, away uh, at home. So a, a disappointing little set of results for Barry. We have, on the other hand, picked up some cracking results and we could, we could have been even further ahead. We should have been even further ahead. Let's go and have a look at the results. But before we say, we, we'd be playing Berry Town today, but we are going to be missing our top scorer in Max Walker. He's out injured. Problems. So you folks saw the match against Warrington Rylands and it's, yes, it's a bit of a mixed bag. You can see some red there and some yellow i think in the main we did enough to win every single one of those games and in fact the games the funny funny thing about this actually some of the games that we won we probably didn't deserve to it's it's a weird one so we beat hereford 3-0 yes this was a game we absolutely deserved to win max walker hat trick we had done the game before the end of the first half we were in dreamland there so we changed things around i thought sutton Col common at home it was going to be straightforward we started with a max walker goal i thought yeah fine and then they started scoring goals i wasn't happy with it but we pulled it back to one all mog with the penalty and we gave a late goal away so we lost our first game against a lower division club it's embarrassing yes we had a you can see the side is a little bit different from the one that uh, might have been out there you know Sam McNally getting a, a game Paul Davis getting a game Lee Mogg getting a game uh, Solomon Honor in goal but it's not good enough that really and then we follow that up with a 3-3 draw against Chorley I have no idea how this happened we were so dominant in this game and then gave them two goals late on and I don't understand I don't understand it we were very very good and, and should not be conceding three goals here but yet we did, and this seems to be, on occasion, our defence is a little bit suspect, and that is a problem. Away against Geisley, I thought this was going to be a tough one. We won 3-0, though. Graham, Barjones and Tuttle with the goals. No Max Walker, as you can see. He only had a 6.2. Jerry Wadkins got himself injured, and that did coincide with him dropping out of the side for a little bit. A home win against Colville. Wasn't the most convincing win in the world, a 2-1 victory, but, you know, pretty pleased with it, um, and uh, we, we move on. Away against Sudbury, now we're going, here is a little run of, of teams who are in decent position. I think Sudbury were about 11th, so they were the lowest ranked team we played. Beat them 2-0, the two strikers, Bajones and Walker, and then this game against Radcliffe, this was so frustrating. We dominated this match, hardly gave them a sniff. Should have scored um, a number of goals. And Neil McCarthy got himself sent off. Annoying. But we still were creating chances. Not as many. But um, weren't really seeing much at all from uh, Radcliffe. And then we gave him a penalty. Dodgy penalty, mind. Which they scored. So, you know, it was kind of... Oh, well, they're not they're not going to win even with a player sent off. Let's give him a penalty. Give him, give him a good chance. It was too late for us to do anything about it. We tried... To try to do something, brought on Tomlin and Tuttle late on, it didn't make a difference. But it didn't matter because we went away to Spennymore, who were doing really well in the league, beat them 4 3. Barjones, Max Walker, and Tuttle. And this one was particularly impressive. Doesn't seem it, but another side who are in the. Um, uh, in you know in the playoff picture, Bradford Park Avenue beat them two one. You think well, you scored two goals late on, but actually we were missing um, not just Max Walker. We were also uh, missing Tuttle as well. There we were missing Graham on international duty. The two of those went out. So we, and, and I think there was a couple of other people out. So I felt actually we were missing a lot of our creative creative players in there, which. Um, 
we're normally a lot better. But a go- the goal from Paul Davis late on was just beautiful. It was so he's getting another game in place of Graham. I was really pleased with what he did in the centre of the park. Sam McNally. He's, I think his days are gone, really. But lovely goal from Lee Mogg as well. So the substitutions worked well. Right, folks, we're going to be playing Berry Town. If we win this, we could be seven points ahead of Berry. If we lose it, we'll just be one point ahead of them. This couldn't be more significant, this match. I know it's early in the season, but seven points feels a nice Nice gap, that's two wins rather than zero wins. Oh. So here we go. It's going to be hard. They are going to come at us and we are going to struggle. Let's just have a quick look at whether they've got players missing. Please let them have some players. They do. Ken Willis. They've got two very good goal threats as well. And it's Ken Willis is going to be missing. He is injured. That is is big he has scored 15 goals and looks a real threat who've they got in replacement well they've got a couple of players um this lad he doesn't look too terrible galinsky um but well he's, he's got to find his find his legs and we we've got um we don't have walker in the, in the side but we do have dave tuttle who's just back from injury oh, i didn't notice that <laughs> Well, he'll get a half. He'll get a half of football, and then what do we do? Well, we got Lee Mogg to bring on. Let's let's worry about that when we need to worry about it. But uh, Tuttle will be starting alongside Barjones. Right, let's get into it. Let's see what happens. Tuttle and Barjones leading the line. Inglethorpe on the left. Um, Wadkins on the on the right. And then we've got Davis and McCarthy in the centre. Poby to road, Evans, Moore, Taylor, and Schilling in goal. I feel we're going to lose this, but wouldn't a win be amazing? Wouldn't a win? Jamie Ward managing them. Right, so let's see what we've got here. Only two minutes in. Are they going to take a very, very early lead? Davis has done well. He's just picked the ball off them, and he goes long with that. Don't find the player. Mingi. I'm sorry, mate, but you were well offside. Povey now has got it. These balls over the top are dangerous as heck. And, well, well done. Wadkins, he's put, trying to pressure them. We're trying to get the, a foot on the ball there. Just trying to pick them. And that was well done from Tarode. Stops the ball going through. And this is better. Inglethorpe goes forward. Looking for a pass. Moore Taylor. Round the side. Tuttle. Doesn't. Uh, he's not able to run onto it. But here's Barjones. Barjones. He makes the goalkeeper make a save. Well, that's not bad. Probably should have scored that, shouldn't he? So Schilling goes long with the header. Barjones doesn't quite get onto that. Tuttle does well. McCarthy, he is so important. The passes this man makes. <laughs> Just as he decides not to pass it at all. And now they're going to have a bloody shot from this, aren't they? Well, it wasn't very good. But he normally finds beautiful passes, you have to believe me. Well, Davis has done fabulously there. Looking for the pass. Ball through. Barjones loses out. Oh, mate. Just let it run under his foot. That's the worst time for bad control. Ball round the corner. Tanner clears it. Just the worst time. I thought there was a chance to pick that ball off there. Ball over the top. And again, Tarot does well. Into Davis. Round the corner. Povey. Come on. Ball over the top. And again, we don't find the pass. They're going over the top, but Tarot does well. Now Inglethorpe here has got a chance for a through ball. Come on, mate. You can play this through ball. This is very well done. Inglethorpe, and it's in. It's Barjones. Barjones at the far post. Oh, that's good. 1-0 up. That is massive. We look pretty strong. They're struggling to get through us, and we keep pushing forward, winning the ball in midfield, getting the ball out wide to Wadkins and Inglethorpe, and then put it in and there's Barjones and that's what he does we don't need Walker on the pitch when we've got the uh, the god Daniel Barjones scoring goals but here they come Sarpong long ball over the top oh god the goalkeeper came for it and just out of nothing we've seen nothing from them at all and then that happens and just a mistake from Schilling 
an absolute disaster of a mistake because there was no hope really I mean yes he, he would have had a chance but Schilling was just late coming out right 33 minutes on the clock Tuttle is looking tired you can't see that because he's behind my head but he is you, you have to just agree with me that he's knackered Inglethorpe looks to try and pick someone else fails it's interesting because we are just it's two teams really going at it winning the ball off each other just desperately trying to do something Perry this looks like a chance for them maybe lovely bit of play through Bonner and we've won the ball again off them this is fabulous stuff but looking to find someone oh that's what we want out wide and then now we're dangerous Wadkins Oh, Watkins, what are you doing, mate? The pass, the pass. Pass early. Here's Bonner. For them. Perry. Don't give... <laughs> oh, my Lord. And he came straight back to him. I mean, Tuttle can barely move at the minute. But we're keeping him out there for a bit longer. Because I, I don't really want... I really, I don't really know what to do. With, with with the players who, who are going to come on for him. Here's McCarthy. Chips it in. Oh, is that... Am I not getting a penalty for that? We're seeing a highlight there. We're going to have to make a change here. And it is going to be Tuttle who's coming off. But what do we do with this? Can we play Lee Mogg up top? Not really very well. He's got no finishing ability whatsoever. Can he play as a pressing forward? He can do that. I think we're going to go with Barjones in that role. We'll play Wadkins. No, no, we're going to play Mog in that role. We might change things around, but let's see how that goes. Mog's he scored some goals, so maybe maybe it's good. Day. First chance we've seen since the substitution. It looks like it might be going for them, but it's so hard to tell where the chances are going because everyone is winning the ball off each other like that. It's wonderful to see because this is not the usual gubbins that my team play. Schilling goes long. There's literally nobody there. And they've gone long themselves. Scully. Toro does really well. Here's Scully. And we just about get our feet in the way. That's well done. And it's Mog. He's got a chance here. He's got a chance. He's chipped everything. Oh, no. Just blast it, mate. Perry, 63 minutes. Whew, just over the top. There's chances galore here. Don't know which way this is going to go, my friends. It's hard to choose. Well, Davis has done well. But we are going to be taking him off. Graham is going to come on for Davis. That's going to give us some more legs in midfield. Not taking off Barjones. I think that would be a mistake. But is there a place to, to bring Wadkins off? Bring McNally on. Play him up top as a target forward on attack. And just see if we can just win a, win a couple of headers or something. Imagine if he scored late on. Imagine. Well, this has been this has been a cracking game. I, you probably say that no one deserves to win it, and and certainly if we don't win it, um, I don't want to lose it. But I would like to win it because <laughs> I'm greedy like that. Here's McNally. Well, considering he's the man with the head, I thought he was going to do something for us there. But come on, hydrogen. No, it's not hydrogen. Hyden. Come on, keep them out. They do not deserve anything here while well, the goalkeeper does everything. 88 minutes on the clock and he stops a certain goal. Come on, get your head to it. This this is the this is the performance of a team as long as we don't concede that could win this league. I'm not saying which team I'm talking about. Oh, come on. Without our top scorer. This can turn. I mean, this could turn so easily. From one point to seven points. All with the, just a single strike. And it's, it finishes 1-1. And you know what? I think we deserve more. But I will take it. 
I think it was a good game of football. We had our chances. They had their chances. We scored from Barjones. They scored with a terrible bit of goalkeeping. Yes, Schilling, that was a 6.3 and a deserved 6.3. But, yeah, away against Bury, yeah, I'll take it. Absolutely, all day long. So we maintain our four-point lead over Bury Town. And you can see Radcliffe got a nice... Well, they got a big win in their game. I saw that pop up at some point. 4-0 against AFC Telford. Um, so they're closing in. Hereford uh, also getting themselves a victory somewhere in there as well. 3-2 um, away at Sudbury. So that's a pretty good result for, for Hereford. And Stevenage are dropping off even though they've just beaten Berry, So we are still in pole position. It still looks really good. But there's a heck of a long way to go in this season. Four points does not win you the league. And at this stage, in the, a four-point lead at this stage doesn't win you the league. So I am hoping that we are going to be in a great position when we come back for the game against Stevenage on the 6th of January. You, we're going through a period where we could we could do really well in this period and and you know extend that lead and that's what I hope we'll manage. But equally, it might not go like that. Um, but we'll be back for the game against Stevenage. Another really tough tough game, and hopefully um, by then we we can maybe have extended things further. But you know, let me know what you reckon is going to happen. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, if you did enjoy it. Uh, please hit that like button. Thank you to all the members who have signed up for membership on the channel down below with the join button if you want to do that. And uh, thank you to everyone else who has watched. Um, yeah, if you uh, probably said this already, if you um, are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one where we play Stevenage. And hopefully, hopefully we're still in first. Fingers crossed. See you then.